podcast for you. You'll get golf tips and news. Off the tour, the review. Come and join us, have some fun. So, everybody, welcome to podcast number two of 2012. Is this number two? Did we do no, one? We did Christmas, didn't we? Is that, was was that 2012? Yeah, well, it was between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Yeah, so that was the last one, really, of 2000. Anyway, we're going to call it number two because we only managed nine last year, so we need a head start for this year. So it's number two, right? All right. And the other one's number one. Anyway, whatever. Number two. Great. Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. Yeah. There's, well, there's nothing in these cups. Uh, well, we, we can't afford any. This winter, we're not making very much money. We can't afford any coffee. So never mind. Yeah, come in to us. Come to us. <laughs> um, anyway, in this podcast number two, no, it's podcast number one. It's it number is. Yeah, sorry about that. We won't get you to 11, was Right, exactly, exactly. What a load of crap. Um, <laughs> so it's number one, but we never start again at Call of Pass Podcast. We always do everything live and we never cut, and that's the best thing about it. So sorry for all that bollocks. <laughs> but um, podcast number one, indeed, uh, of 2012. So on the tour, Pat, what's going on? On the tour, not much happening. We've got qualifying school in uh, America, which is obviously interesting, but. Nobody really knows any of names and that. So, but go watch it because obviously they're really good players and um, not much else to watch on TV. It's all crap what you can watch on TV. So I watched Manchester United and Newcastle last night. Really? Yeah, Man United lost three. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. But anyway, um, you know all this crap which runs all day long. It's not worth watching. So watch golf. Uh, European tour is in Africa, they have a tournament, not very big names there. Well, there's a few there, um, I'm not sure, I, I, I think look, what, on I the tour is getting a lot better, isn't it, <laughs> from the quality. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, there's not much happening right now, but uh, it will get there. However, um, we had a great thing with Facebook this week. We did. We asked you what you would like to see, and we got quite a few comments on it, and the first one to come was, Patrick, and that's why he's tuned up for we. Tune of the week. Well done, Patrick. That's going to be the theme this podcast, by the way. Iron versus driver swings. And uh, if you send us an email or post on Facebook or whatever, you can become student of the week too. So please comment on that. Awesome. So what does Patrick get for being student of the week? What, what do you get? He, he becomes famous to be a P-podcast. Right, okay. Good one. Good reason to go and do it, isn't it? Right, okay, so we did, uh, Patrick's question was, of course, um, the difference between irons and woods, which we're going to look at in a moment. Uh, so we're going to do a little tip for you, which you can see, uh, which is an interesting question, so we'll see what we've got to say about that. Yes. Um, please keep them coming, these questions, because it's really interesting for us to know what you want to hear, uh, because other than that, we just end up talking rubbish. Um, well, last time, we didn't really mention anything what would help you at all. And this time it will. So here it comes. Have a look. Enjoy this. So here we are outside at the uh, the golf lounge, doing our tip for this week, which is Irons versus driver swings. Comes from Patrick Blue. Yeah, the Patrick. Student from thanks for sending that in. Is it the same swing with the woods? I get asked that a lot. In fact, we used to take the piss out of that question many years ago in Austria. Uh, is it the same swing with the woods and that type of thing? Because. <laughs> It only ever seemed to get asked in, in German-speaking countries because the answer is it is the same swing. It is, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, I and you're hitting the downswing, so you're going to hit ball ground, and with a driver, you'll hit the ball in the upswing, or you're trying to anyway. So you're going to not hit ground, hopefully anyway. I know a lot of you do, but try not to anyway. So that's why you tee the ball up, right? And. Um, so something obviously does change, but it's not the swing. It's basically just the setup, right? It is, yeah. I know it feels like you're doing something completely different because why would you be able to hit your seven iron perfect and your driver absolutely terrible? There must be a reason, right? And that's probably the reason why so many people ask the question. Unfortunately, there's got nothing to do with it. And the fact is that the drive is longer, so there's going to there's going to be more to go wrong, right? And the loft of the club is obviously, you know, on Patrick's driver, there'll be about 14 degrees or something like that um, on this driver. And obviously that's a lot less than a 7 iron. So if something's going to go wrong, then you're going to notice it with this thing and not with it. Right? Of course, obviously, uh, a flatter swing play 
kind of comes in with a driver, especially off the tee, exactly. and the yeah. steeper swing play comes more in with an iron, so that's why you might be able to change your irons better than your drivers, but you should change your swing anyway, yeah. come and see us. Yeah, so I mean just imagine if you had two sorts of swings, wood swings and iron swings, that'd be crazy, you'd have to have double the number of lessons. You could try that, we have nothing <laughs> against that, but I don't think you should. What you should do is learn the couple of differences you've got to do in your setup so that the same swing works with both clubs. That's obviously the best way to do it. So we've got three points for you today. You didn't know that, did we? No. Well, we've got three points for you. <laughs> yeah. In, uh, yeah. In the uh, in your setup, which you need to change to be able to hit the ball well. And Patrick's going to explain those three points for you. So have you got right. that? So the, I'll see if I get to three. So the first one's obviously the ball position. It's going to be with the seven iron, I've got seven iron here, so it'll be just left of middle maybe. So obviously that way you're going to be able to hit the ball in the downswing. And with the driver, it's going to be just inside of your left foot. What happens that way is that my whole body kind of falls more to the right. It's the second point by the way. I'll, I'll see if I get to three. Um, the right shoulder goes underneath the left more. This way, I'm going to swing the club more on the upswing with the driver. With the iron, I want to be a bit more centered so I can hit the ball more from up, right? So, um, that's number two. And number three, I'll just go with my eye line. My right eye is underneath my left. Um, because obviously everything comes together. If the ball position moves to the left, everything goes that way, so my right eye drops underneath the left. I'm not sure if that's the third point Paul wanted to talk about, but it's just my third point. So, there you go, three points. You've got ball position further left with the driver, you've got right shoulder underneath your left, and you've got right eye underneath the left. And Paul, is that the three points you were going to talk about? Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And, um we did that in Brady's Basics, by the way, as you remember. Yeah, we talked about yeah. exactly the same thing in Brady's Basics, which if you haven't watched it by now, go back and watch, because that was, that was all right. Anyway, um, so we, we talked about those three points, and that is the difference. That's all you've got to do. And then you've got to make the same swing. And the difference is then why are you asking, yeah, but give us a tip in the swing. Well, yeah, we could give you a driver tip, but that's something completely different. Yeah, it's got the... I'm just, I'm serious now, the swing is completely the same. Yeah. So you what, can't hit your driver. What we could do here. Why, why don't we just show that if you can make a swing you know, that way down the line, I'll just get the, uh, the stick here. Okay. Right. Oh, well, well, plan. Spontaneously. Yeah, spontaneous plan. So, uh, give me the club as well. So, so you see, this is going to be the swing plane when Patrick sets up to a driver, right? That's roughly the same plane. So go ahead and swing back. Right? So he swings on a flatter plane, right? So now take an iron, I'm going to hold this still, right? Give me a driver. And you see now the plane has changed and becomes slightly steeper. Well, Patrick's not doing anything to do that. It's just that the plane of the club of a 7 iron, the lie of a 7 iron, because it's shorter, is obviously much steeper than the lie of a driver, which is longer. So the club swings on a very similar plane. You know, so you can see at the top it looks quite similar. It's just that there's a difference because of the club. So you do nothing. You can obviously see it when I go this way, that this plane would go more that way, and this plane goes more that way. Right? So that's very easy. Well, wasn't that interesting? I thought it was. Yeah. The same swing with the woods. So the answer was yes, it is. It is. Right. So it's the same swing with the woods. Now you know, and you know all the reasons why it is. Exactly. Good job. So, I don't know if you hear it, but the weather is absolutely terrible here. Shall I film a bit outside? Yeah, you can I see it's absolutely shocking. Just have a look at this. Beautiful Hamburg, right? And, and the thing is, right, all you people who watch, a lot of you people who are watching this are German. And you're always going on about the shitty weather in England and how Patrick and, it, uh, and it, Patrick and me must feel completely at home when we're uh, when the weather's like this. But what you forget is yeah. we're in Germany and it's raining here. Exactly. Very strange. Um, but I must say I'm quite glad it's not minus 20 degrees and uh, ice. I think it will be as of the 19th. 
I think it might be. Yeah, but the 19th, we're going to Orlando, so we don't care. We can, you know, we can do what I want to. And then, round about, you know, beginning, middle February, it's going to start picking up again. So it's not going to be that bad for that long. Um, so, one more thing about the whole podcast thing. Don't just comment on what you would like to hear, but try to help us improve our podcast. So, whatever you would would like us to do with the podcast, please comment on it, and we'll try to improve. If you don't let us know, we can't improve it. So, Joe, well, next time, if anybody can hear us now, we're getting ready. Uh, we're now going to finish. Um, you know what the difference is between ones and nines? There isn't any. Um, next week is going to be... I'm not sure yet. But oh, come on. Well, we're on such a good role. title. Um, there's so many I need to choose which one I will choose. Maybe you can influence our decision between then and now, because as you know, we do things on the square of the moment. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we won't decide till the next Thursday lunchtime. So between then and now and now and then and so forth, right then and you get the idea. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.